Hey guys, uh, before uh, before we begin, we finally got the male mantis, so just want to let you know we finally got the last golden bug, and now I will meet you in Castle Town to officially begin this Let's Play. Hello everyone, this is Ryzen51 here. We are back for more Let's Play Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. Uh, this is the continuation of our side quest little part of this LP that we're still continuing on. And the mailman comes by for another letter. Malamart. Okay, so. So, send for Malamart. Let's see what they uh, have to say. Heroes come together. Heroes can finally open the castle. We can all do that. help me schedule magic armor. Hmm. Magic armor. Interesting. There is one slot left there on armor. So, let's go grab that magic armor, shall we? But I'll go ahead and tell you right now, you cannot get the magic armor unless you have 598 rupees. Yeah. But yes, we have finally succeeded on collecting all 24 golden bugs. I had problem finding the, getting that last bug last night. I had trouble. I couldn't see him, so I decided to just start cutting uh, cutting out the film. Just well, not cutting exactly. Just trying to find it on uh today. Luckily, I was able to get it this time. So now we're good to go. So we got a lot of bugs to turn in. So I'm not gonna show off every bug that I turn in. I'm just gonna try to cut it out though. Don't worry. So, about the cute little ants, little ants, little ants, I might mistake you for a green and put you in my cereal. <laughs> uh, interesting. Here we got purple ruby. So, I'll cut uh, each one to show a different bug and what she says about it. Okay, so the next bug we're going to show her is the dayfly. So, let's see, see what she says about this one. Little dayfly, little dayfly, little dayfly. I want to take your colorful tail and make the loveliest braid ever. <laughs> That's pretty cute. Uh, another purple ruby. And we have its partner too, so we're about to get an orange ruby next. Okay, so now uh, show off, I showed the other ones that we forgot to get the pair for, so let's go on ahead and show the mantis and see uh, what she says. Little mantis, little cutie, little mantis, little mantis. If I had sickles like that, I could slice onions better. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Purple ruby, very nice. Eleven bucks left, so we're gonna show off the partner and we'll show off the next bug. Okay, next up we have the butterflies. We're gonna show her now. Little butterfly, little butterfly, I want to be wrapped up in that powder too. Interesting. Alright, nine bucks to go, we're gonna show her off the next one. Alright, so next up will be the stag beetle. Little cutie, little sappy, little sappy, your spiky pinchers are so sharp. They must feel so good. Uh. How that feels so good since his pinchers are so sharp. Well, that kind of... Uh, I might be a little lost in that one. <laughs> this girl is crazy, but kind of weird. She's pretty cool, though. So here's a pill bug. Little pill bug, little pill bug. I wish I was smaller so I could roll you around like a ball. <laughs> kind of cool, though. Alright, we got five bucks left to show her. Countdown's down to four, so let's show her the snail. Little snail, little snail, just once I like to take a bath in, this, in that slime. Well, if you really like bugs, then you may like that then. <laughs> but uh, us, to people that don't like bugs that much, I would not blame them for that. Oh yeah, before I uh, cut this one out, uh, before, if you guys didn't notice, do you have these in parentheses? The female one here, it might actually be a male. And this one here will say... Just so I'm going to get you guys a little headset real quick. Uh, shows here, it might be actually a male. And this is a female snail. And 
the male would actually be a female snail. That's kind of odd. I don't know why. That's kind of weird. I said that. <laughs> so anyway, we have two bugs left to go. So let's show off our last two bugs, and we have our male grasshopper, which is a little tricky to get. Little grasshopper, little grasshopper, I love to tickle you be your belly all day long. <laughs> might get him to la you might get him laughing from from exhaustion. Um, he might be exhausted from all that laughter from tickling his body all day, his belly all day. <laughs> he 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 or she's. Anyway, oh, this means all the books have made it to the ball safely. <laughs> And everyone has, has that partner. They all look so happy. So happy. Quoted by NCS. You worked very hard. Your efforts will forever be passed down in the insect kingdom, brave knight. Please accept this declaration of honorable citizenship and the memento that goes along with it. And we get the giant wallet. Now we can hold up to 1,000 rupees. If you ever feel like talking to the bugs again, you know where to go. All right, mission accomplished. We have completed our mission on getting the um, 24 golden bucks. Whew. That was tough. Okay, so now, without further ado, let's continue. All right, so, whoa, 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 whoa. don't wanna go in here again. Um, I am going to have a special guest with me in just a moment. Real quick, I just want to do one more thing. And then we're going to begin our search on for some more heart pieces. So, since Mallow's, Mallow's Mart is open now, let's head in. Here it is. This is the area before where you couldn't actually go into. But now you can. Wow. Just, uh... Looks like a, par like a party going on in here. Okay. You'll buy it now, if you're smart and mad, no more. Look at what a grand opening sale going on at Castletown Town Mart. 20% off, 30% off, of course, why not? We'll look for, out for you, the hero of the scouts, this is us, Malamart. Buy it now if you're smart, make your selection using... Yeah. So, arrows, get 10 for 5 rupees, not bad. Bombs, 45 rupees, get 30 of them. Water bombs, 45. Blue potion, 50, that's nice. Red potion, 15. 30 rupees. And the magic armor, which is 598. We will definitely buy it. We have sold out magic armor. Now we have the magic armor. You bought it. You're, you're smart, you buy an armor. Mark. Bird and your rupees will become magical. The armor will protect you, so if you get hit, use rupees, not help. If you run out of rupees, the armor will go dormant and your movement will become impaired. Thank you for your patronage. Shop again sometime. So, we got the magic armor now, so pretty awesome. So, having the big wallet or the giant wallet would be best. The more rupees you have, the better with the magic armor. I would kind of think it's kind of cheap having the magic armor. I don't know exactly. Well, I mean, it's kind of cool to have it because you only lose rupees instead. And, you know, if you, like, you know, run out of room in your wallets or get some big rupees, the magic armor will deplete that and, you know, you can add some more rupees in to take its place. I will show off the magic armor during this uh, LP for sure. Okay, so I think we need to go on and start looking for some heart pieces. So, folks, I will be right back and we'll start searching for a few more heart pieces. Oh, it better if I stop the recording. <laughs> Alright, guys, we're back. We're ready to head off to our next destination on where we have to go the next heart piece. I have two special guests with me, one making her big return from a long vacation, and a good friend of mine that's been doing some awesome LPs. I'll let them introduce themselves. And Nintendo Fancy. Yep, she's back from her lawn trip and ready to get back into LPs. 
It's good to have you back. Ow. Thanks. No problem. So, before I got you guys in, we finally got the last golden bug. We received the giant wallet from Agatha. And now we have the magic armor as well. So now we're all set and ready to go to continue our search for some more heart pieces. And I think the next one should be down here. Ah, uh, yes, this one. I really hate getting this heart piece here. Okay, so this is gonna be fun. So you're gonna need the spinner for this one. Oh joy. So you gotta time these jumps, so let's get to it. Oh wait, we're at the end. <laughs> Whoops. Okay. Uh let's try that again. Here we go. Alright, now we can start. So yeah, time your jumps on these carefully. First couple here are no problem. The next ones you're gonna start timing them. Oh my gosh. Yes, thank you. I got on the first try. Oh my gosh. Holy crap. That is the first time I got on the first try. That is beautiful. Okay. Get out of my way, you stupid lizard freak. So, uh, Fancy, what's been going on for you? How's your, uh, vac vacation? It was good. Uh, did you get to... Did you do anything? Any, um... Fun stuff you got to do during your vacation? Um... Any, um, special places you went to? Uh, not really. Just went swimming a lot last Oh. You didn't get sunburned again, did ya? No. Okay, good. <laughs> I didn't think... I, I knew the first time, you know, you could let that slide. I didn't think it would, it would happen twice by accident. No, I didn't get sunburned. Yeah, yeah, I know. You're smart. But, just want to check. Okay, so... This heart piece... I want to attempt it. I want to try and attempt this one. But... This one's not going to be easy for me. I've seen NCS and other people get it done. For GameCube, I think. I don't know if I've seen anybody done it well on the Wii, though. So if you want to come up here to Snow Peak, Mount, uh, Snow Peak Mountain again, you get to uh, want to race Yetta and Yetto. Long time since we meet. Why well, feeling better? Nice weather for sleds. You try? Sure. Uh, race to home. Okay, so first up, we're going to race against Yetta. I mean, yeah, Yetto. Sorry, Yetto. Yetto is really easy to race against. So you want to try to keep crouching. Crouching will help to go faster. See, if being Yetto is real cinch, you shouldn't have any trouble with him. But when you race against Yetta, you gotta be really careful. Oh! Oh, almost got the purple rupee. Darn it. Alright, making progress. So, uh, Fancy, have you decided on what, L what LP you're gonna be starting up next? Ah, uh, you said something about doing a uh, Metal Gear Solid 2 from what I heard. Oh no! Oh. Ah, crap. I messed that up. What did you say, Celtic? I'm actually to go pee today. I'm going right now. Alright, let's try that again. Let's try again this time without failing. Just kind of cut it back, guys, before I 
Don't want to show it off from the very beginning again. So right now we're in the lead. Just trying not to screw up here at the last seconds against Yeto. Kind of consider Yellow as a kind of a practice before you face the real challenge. And all right, we defeat Yellow. All right. You beat Yellow. You good, uh? You worthy Slutter. Slutter, yeah. You want rematch to go back to Mountain Top? Uh. So let's talk to Yetta. Best time was 125. You tried to break record. Uh, it's good time. I love Sid. I mean, see time. Alright, so we need to warp so they won't see us. So we need to warp back up to Snow Peak Top, and now we gotta race Yetta to win the uh, next heart piece. This is one of them that I could not get. One, I keep bumping into the walls. Two, I keep falling off. And, th and three, she's just too fast. Nah, I'm serious. She's fast. I, I try to keep up, do the crouching, jumping, everything. She's just too good. I'm going to try a few times. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm gonna try. Yetta is gonna be a challenge. Now that she's feeling better, she's gonna be a lot tougher to beat now. <laughs> Yetta, why couldn't you just stay sick? I could have a better chance of winning then. Oh no! Ugh. Yeah, I'm just gonna try to take a suicide for this one. Dance. Yeah, I heard. Yep, he, uh, Celtic finally finished, uh, Twilight Princess. Awesome. I'll have to watch it. Alright, so watch Yetta here. She's gonna go up here this time. So we need to keep, we need to keep up with her now, because we're losing. Oh, make it, make it. Oh, come on. Ugh. Alright guys, I'm going to attempt this one more time. If I can't beat her, then uh, this should just be one heart piece that I cannot get. Because like I said, I did this 15 times in my practice run. I cannot get past her. On my practice tile, I got like 19 hearts going to Hyrule Castle. And I came pretty close. Yep, and uh, you still dominated Ganon. There you go. Took a little damage, but uh, you still dominated. Yeah. Oh. Ah, missed. I'll get a red rupee. I'll take it. Alright, let's do it again. Now you can't take that other way you took against Yeto, but it ain't gonna really matter. Cause he'll just, uh, she'll just pass you up easily. Oh, please. Please tell me we can beat her, please. This will make my day. If I can do that spitter upon on the first try, I wanna beat Yetta for the first time, too. Oh, oh, yes, yes, thank you. Uh, just like that. Thank you, thank you. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yes. Oh my lord, I can't believe it. Rise up. That was a photo finish. You slimmer than husband, huh? Then maybe you, that your secret, your you aerodynamic. You take this as token of respect for sled skills. God bless you, God bless you too, for that heart piece. And no tell husband, you come back and race any time. I'll just tell him anyway. I don't know if you'll hear it. You want rematch? You go back to mountaintop. Oh, okay. I've only heard what she said. <laughs> 
Oh, sad face. Okay, um... Where's the next heart piece at? Uh... Booga booga. Where is it at? Oh, yeah. Next one's up here. So, we'll meet you guys there shortly.